Hello everyone, my name is Jim Garrity and today is a new tour day. Look at this, we've got two boxes and in here is something which will help me see a little bit better. As the years have passed, the assemblies that I work on have been getting more and more difficult to see. The small circuit boards that I'm making, they seem to be getting smaller and smaller each time I do it. So this is one of those binoculars, not binoculars, a microscope which you look through and uh, you can uh, magnify whatever you're working on. In this larger box we've got the the head, the stereo head as they call it, and in the other box here we've got the universal stand, it says it on the side here, and these are both made by a company called Vision Engineering here in England and it's a really good product. Anyway let's see what's in the boxes. Right the first box is going to be the stereo viewing head and uh, let's have a look to see what's in here. The model of the microscope is the Mantis, the Mantis Compact and it should be coming with two uh, sizes of lens, a times uh, 4 and a times 8 and that should, I hope, serve all my needs. This is going to be very useful, <laughs> he says hopefully. And here is the box. Ooh. This does look pretty. Here we are inside the box and the, the head itself is held within a big plastic bubble. Oh, I've never seen that before, that's very good. Uh, and we have two little tubs here. This is Mantis Compact times 4 So this must be the the times four lens inside this little pot. It has a screw lid and it's all packed up. We'll have a look in there a little later. So that's one of the lenses. That means the other one must be the, the times eight, which it is, and it's a lot longer. Yeah, this is quite heavy. There must be a lot of glass in that one. So that's the times four and the times eight lenses. And now then, how does this come out? It looks as though we've got a like a little subframe. Oh, I've just seen this on the uh, on this side of the box. It says, "Do not cut plastic film to remove the product." So that sounds as though they want you to keep this in one uh, in one piece. And then I turn this flap over, and what do you know? It says repacking instructions and it shows this subframe with the two boxes coming apart. I put it on the floor and lifted this sub box with the head in it uh, straight out of the box. Uh, so that's as it comes. There are some documents within the box which is the two year warranty and the vision engineering instruction booklet. So we'll have a look at those in a moment. Let's get this apart so we can get to our head. All right, these two half bubbles are held together with, a, with two straps, one down each side. And uh, I think all we need to do here is turn the end around inside the one of the boxes like that. And look at that, off it comes. And there is the, the half bubble. Let's uh, disattach that side. Oh, it's very clever. And here is the head of the microscope. We leave it in this half bubble because that's a nice soft platform for it. Let's take the bag off that it sits in. And now remove the head from the bag. And this is what the beast looks like. So there's a one screen here and this is the screen for looking through. Underneath there's just one objective lens and even with this one viewing lens and one objective lens the clever optics inside actually gives a 3D image of whatever you're looking at so that's pretty good. Uh, we have some uh, 
silica gel in a packet. This knob with what looks like two cat's eyes on, this represents your eyes and you can adjust the instrument to suit the gap between your eyes. So if you're a hammerhead shark, you'll be fine using this. Underneath where we have the lens, we also have some LEDs and uh, I think the power supply is in the base and that powers these LEDs to light whatever you're, you're looking at. And we, these plastic wings are for holding it and, and adjusting. Right, let's have a look at the stand. And now to unbox the universal stand for the Mantis Compact. And there is the stand. It's quite well packed. We have a, a box here with a rather complicated piece of cardboard work there. All right, I assume this will have a mains plug. It does, it's got a mains plug and a power supply. And I assume that is for the LEDs that I showed you in the head. We'll have a look at this a little bit later. So that is the stand. What else do we have in the box? Now what's in that heavy box? Ah, it's a big G clamp for holding the stand to the table if uh, you want to use a clamp. We'll put that there. And I think that is the, the last thing is the plastic cover. So once the head is on the stand, then this plastic cover goes over, stops the dust collecting on it. Right, let's take the Universal Stand from its bag and uh, the bottom of the stand has a mount on it and that mount is what goes onto the, the desk. Now, it's off. So here, here is the stand and that's the mount. So this should just pull out, which it does, and it's it's made of plastic and it's covered in grease. I should imagine that's silicon grease, so I don't want to touch that. And now that is the part that needs to get attached to the, uh, the tabletop, and that's either with the, the large G-clamp that came in the box, which is just here, and uh, we would unscrew the, the thread and then this would fit like that and then it would be clamped to the table. But I don't want to use the clamp, I want to screw this uh, to the workbench and then this just uh, sits on top of it. Right, let's find the position that this has to go on the bench. Now, here I am at the back of the workshop, I'm at the desk. Now I want the microscope to fit in here and the head to come down here so I can work in this area. Now, I don't know how the, the stand reacts with the head, so I'm not sure the, the dynamics of that. So what I'm gonna do is put the head onto the stand on a piece of wood in the vise and then I can start moving it around, take some measurements and then I can find out where I want the stand on the desk to give me a good position to use the head. So let's do that. Right, I've just set the stand up. I'm using the, the metal G clamp that came with the kit. Uh, that goes through into the base of the, the stand and the stand just fits on top like that. Now the head fits just here. So we need to pull back the gaiter and then fit the head on these screws. Now there's 
there's some wire in here at the moment. This is a wire which will, supreme, which will supply the power to the LEDs at the top of the head. And I've got to take these screws out. The head of the microscope is going to be retained by these two screws. Now that hook that sits at the back of the, the head, that clips on this top screw and then this second screw comes through and then holds it all together. If I remove this lower screw, you'll notice that the top screw has got quite a deep head. You see it comes through the bracket on this side and that's used as a retaining mechanism. So what happens is you screw this screw that way until the head is flush or it's just sub flush with the side of this bracket and now the head will come and clip on there and then come down. You do this screw up and the head will go into the top part of the hole which is wider and that will retain it and then once this is in all the way you then put the second screw in the bottom and that goes through and then ties it all together. Right let's see if we can hook the top of the head this little hook here over the screw that's left in there and now this should clip on or hang really onto that screw which it does there and then once it's in in place you can then do that screw up which will lock it in place and then put the other screw in which we took out earlier and that goes into the bottom position through the hole like that and then that is secure now we can pull it down and it stops in any of the positions that you want it to and this is that dimension that I'm interested in. Now we do have to put the gator uh, around here but I'm not going to do that at the moment because we're just setting it up so I can do some measuring but that is what it's going to look like and that is the way that it moves it's nicely counterbalanced so it doesn't drift at all and it spins around both directions as well I'll get quite excited so now we have the head of the microscope screwed onto the universal stand and uh, it's looking very nice now this stand is a counterbalance stand there's actually a, a spring in here which counteracts the weight of the head so no matter where you put the head it stays and doesn't move which is rather nice just like that now the reason we put this together is so I can measure the distance between the center of rotation of the stand here and the center of the objective lens when this comes down to round about the working height now that's going to be the set, uh, that's going to be the, the level of the desk coming along here so I need to know distance between the center here and the center of the objective lens uh, the lens isn't in at the moment it's just the plastic cover which is about there so if I measure that it comes to about there 590 millimeters so that is the dimension that I need when I work on the desk just over there 590 millimeters now here we are at the desk now I want the microscope initially just to fit round about here so I can bring it down and check it now I'm going to have to reorganize the whole of the top of this uh, uh, of this desk and move the computer and, and everything else around so what I'd like to do is get that magnifier just in there and working so I can then take some uh, some more measurements and also see how it works and how it moves with respect to the other things that I want to put around it so uh, I'm going to be working on something round about here so that's where I want the objective lens over there so if I assume that will be my my area where I'm going to be working then I need the stand around about 590 millimeters from the center of that going back towards the desk there 590 which puts it around about there just so I've got a dot here and I'll put the dot there and that's round about where I'm going to put the stand in fact what I may do is move it back a little bit give it yeah I'm going to do that I think that may be so if I put it there And then that gives me 590 that comes to there and I think that will work quite nicely but of course I don't know yet that's why I'm sorting this all out right let's give that a go and we'll see how it fits 
as you can see we're now back in the desk the mount has now been taken off the piece of wood that was in the vise I've fixed the the base of the base the part they call the universal mount uh, that's now at the back of the desk here and it's held in position with three wood screws that go through into the top of the MDF of the uh, of the desk right so now what we need to do is grab hold of this mount and slide it onto the boss of the universal mount now this part they actually call the counterbalance boom stand so we get our counterbalance boom stand and we will place it on that boss and slide it down and there you go this is a microscope now in position let's get my lid tucked in and as you can see it's fitting quite nicely it turns around and the head articulates left and right I still have to clip on the the gator and make the connection here but we'll do that in a moment ah. well it's looking the part what we've got to do now is find out if it works so the first thing I think we'll do is we will look at the this box here which contains the power supply for the LEDs which are under here and uh, and see where this connects right let's have a look at this power supply now this piece of kit gets sent all around the world and uh, as can be seen by the power supply there's a lot of bits and pieces in here and this is to enable it to work in lots of different countries this part in the plastic bag is the actual power supply and you can see the input terminals of the power supply are here and these plastic piece pieces clip onto the front of this depending which country you're in now that one is really big so I assume that that one's going to be for the UK let's just pull it out yes that's right that's the UK one uh, so if you wanted it if you want the power supply to use in the UK you clip this onto the front and there's a little hook there so that must go there and it pushed down so there it is uh, that is a power supply that you would use if you're going to use it in the UK now if I I can unclip this there's a little latch there that comes off if I look at one of the others what's this one uh, this is the European so the European one if I wanted that we just clip that on and so forth the other two we have this one is for America we've got the two tangs there for America and this last one is uh, two tangs but at an angle now I've seen these before but I'm not really sure which country they're used in uh, anyway so that's the power supply sorted so I need to find somewhere to uh, plug this in and then we can check to see that the LEDs work in the head of the microscope plug the power supply into a socket like that the output of the power supply goes in the back of the stand like that and then you take the cable from the stand and plug that into the head and it's right under here and we push that in like that and we are all set right and now let's test it yay look at that it works right now we've got light uh the next thing is to perhaps unwrap one of the lenses and see if the uh, microscope works as a microscope right let's take a look at the times four lens it's in the plastic box screw lid take the top off oh and it's wrapped in tissue but oh, it doesn't seem to be very long it's actually quite short really let's get that out of the way unwrap it and there it is it's a looks like it's just a single element lens there's some pieces of dust on it and uh, there are three tangs that stick out here this must be the way that it's uh, retained within the uh, the head of the microscope now the times eight lens it is also in a plastic tub screw top let's whip that off and pour out the lens now this is a lot heavier than the times four lens and uh, it's also a lot bigger paper over here and this is a multiple element lens again it has three 
tangs at the top here which will be for the bayonet fitting going into the the bottom of the head right it's now time to see if it works i have the times four lens here waiting now we need to take the dust cover off the underside of the the head which is there it has its three tangs the same as the lens and they're all equidistant and they are equidistant so it must be able to go in any way round so let's hold this up to the hole find it get those three little tangs in which i think is there and twist and i think that is there oh we need to <laughs> turn the lights on mustn't forget that and uh to get my head in the right position and it's working now all i need to do is find something interesting to look at the microscope of course was designed around a human head that has two eyes well this camera only has one eye and i've been moving it around on its tripod trying to line up the optical path to give you a view of what the microscope is looking at now you can see that the image moving there as i move this circuit board around now this circuit board is from yesteryear it's actually a part of a a sharp shaft encoder from a vhs machine i think a anyway that doesn't really matter the thing is you can see the image moving there now what i want to try and show is the 3d that the microscope can display by moving your head so if i move the the camera slightly can you see that the image appears to turn so it does give this 3d effect when you look through it using your two eyes and the binocular vision of them uh, it's even more pronounced and it's really quite nice let's have a look on the other side of the the circuit board now we just need to get it back into focus because it's a little bit lower now that is with the times four lens now i think what i'm going to do next is put the times eight lens on and we'll see what that looks like and this is with the times eight lens and they are the same lens as we looked at before one nice thing about this uh, microscope is the image moves in the same direction that you move the the part you're looking at which is very handy i have played with some microscopes where the reverse happens and that's most disconcerting and very difficult to use well the image is rather nice and it does give that 3d effect well i'm very pleased i've been messing around with the microscope and trying it in different configurations and it all seems to work quite nicely at the moment i'm in office mode i have my keyboard here comes out uh, so I can tap away and look at my two screens if I have a uh, I have something to look at oh I want to look at this under my microscope I just push this screen away grab hold of my trusty microscope which I pull out remove the cover and thus fold it away and put it on the cupboard here and now I can turn the light on bing, and microscope away to my heart's content when i'm finished i can put the cover back on tuck the microscope behind the screen here turn the light off bring the other screen back and i'm back in office mode again or i can push this out the way bring the microscope around here and if i'm feeling really industrious i can now have two screens on and microscope all at the same time yes it's a winner now i've been looking for a microscope to help with my work for some time now there's a lot out there on the market the the normal type that you get uh if you're working in an electronic workshop and you've either got an inspection scope or a work scope that you're you're working underneath they look like microscopes and they have uh two lenses that come up on stalks and you look down through the top and the lenses now I have two problems with that type of microscope the first is because you're having to look down the lens all the time if you're doing it for quite a few hours it makes the back of your neck ache and i find that quite uncomfortable and the other thing which uh which i don't like about them is i can't get on with those with glasses on i have to take my glasses off which means if i'm working 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 i'll come up to do something oh, i've got to put my glasses on go to look down the scope oh got to take my glasses off so glasses on glasses off all day 
With this type of, of scope, you have a screen here which you're, which you're looking at. You've got to get your head in the right position. You've got a really nice image. When you move your head, you can actually look around the image uh, just a little. It's really good and because you're, the screen is in front of you like this, it means that you keep your head up and it doesn't make your neck ache so much. So all in all, this is a, this is a really good bit of kit and I'm very pleased with it. And with that, this video is at an end. <laughs> Take care everyone and thanks for watching. See you next time. Could you do something like this? Of course you can.